thought I would put together a quick video just to kind of show the basic operations of the Sony ICF 2010. Radio is real simple to use. Uh, basically, and I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this because uh, this is kind of an old cell phone that I'm using. It would be nice to have a nice camcorder, but don't have one. But looking at the radio, you have your power switch right here uh, with your light function underneath. You have a main power switch on the side here, mainly used for traveling. If you're traveling, uh, you don't want to accidentally turn on the radio here. So uh, just kind of a precaution there. Looking across here, obviously the display at the top, but you have your power or your timer functions up through here. Uh, your basic keys, your air, FM, AM are right here. Um, again, I don't think you can see this based on the light, but you have your wide, your narrow, your sync, upper, and then lower sideband right here. So uh, everything you need is pretty much on the front. Your scanner functions right through here. You'll notice that you have different color keys um, right here. This whole section right here is really used for the 32 memories, but if you engage the shift key here, uh, then you can use the secondary functions right here. Uh, you have your keypad uh, right here, pretty pretty simple to use. Just basically enter a frequency and hit uh, execute, and away it goes. Your slow and fast tuning right here, so it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to turn it on, kind of go over. I'm going to zero in on 15.10 to kind of give you an idea of um, how wide this wide switch is. It is really wide. So um, 10 kilohertz off and you're going to start being able to hear the station come in. If it was just a little narrower you would have a little bit better sound. Beautiful. So I mean, I'm coming in on 15:10 here. You kind of hear some hiss in the background. Again, it's mainly because of the wide filter. So I can hit the narrow key and it'll clean it up a little bit. I'm not sure how well you can see the signal meter over here, but uh, let me show you how this works right here. I'm going to hit the sync, and you'll see you have upper and lower, which will engage. So right now I'm on the upper side band. Um, as far as the sync and the way you adjust that is basically just slow turn up and down and you'll notice that it kind of pivots back and forth depending on where the where, where you're tuning. Anyway, very quick, uh, just to uh, give you a quick idea. Hope you enjoyed it.